Is it really possible to both use Linux and Windows at the same time on the same hard drive or SSD? Yes, yes it is. And I've actually done it a couple of times. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. Now I'm also going to be using this as a segue into doing the same kind of Linux challenge as Linus and the team over at Linus Tech Tips are doing. So I'm gonna be trying to use Linux, specifically Ubuntu, as my main operating system for the next month or so which is going to be interesting and we'll see how it goes because I'm sure that I'm going to encounter a lot of issues, but I'm going to try documenting all those issues and sharing them with you guys. Now let's go ahead and get on to what you need to do in order to actually dual boot Windows and Ubuntu. And the first thing you're going to need is you're going to need a Windows installation. I'm not going to cover installing Windows in this video, but if you want me to make a Windows installation video, I'll make one eventually and link it over here or wherever the icon happens to be whenever or whichever version of YouTube this is. So let's go ahead and get into the nitty gritty of figuring out how to make a bootable USB for Ubuntu or Linux, and then going ahead and installing that alongside Windows. You're going to need to do some preparation beforehand, but we're going to go through all of that in the next steps. Hello, Editing Dark Row here. Um, if you're concerned about not understanding what drive partitioning is, or if you don't want to accidentally delete any of your data on your currently existing operating system and hard drive, I highly recommend you don't follow anything in this guide. I highly recommend that for you, you get a completely new hard drive and a completely new uh, Windows install if you're going to attempt to do something like this and you're not sure what you're doing. Because otherwise there is a chance that if you mess up, you could accidentally delete your data and that would be bad. So if you don't know what you're doing, don't follow this guide. So the first thing I'm going to do to get everything started is to download the Ubuntu ISO file that we're going to need from ubuntu.com slash download desktop, and I'm going to download the most recent version since that'll have security updates for a while. I'll just click download and I'll get back to you guys as soon as that's done downloading. And don't forget your USB flash drive, at least eight gigabytes. Oh, I conveniently labeled mine Ubuntu, if you can read that. Next, I'm going to download and install a program called Belena Etcher from belena.io slash etcher. And once I download and install that, I'll get back to you guys. All right, now that I have Ubuntu, um, the ISO file downloaded, and I've downloaded and installed Belena Etcher, I just inserted my USB stick into my computer. And now what I'll do is I'll say flash from file, and then I'll just go to downloads and get this Ubuntu file, open it up, select target, my SanDisk Cruiser, select, make sure that you're selecting your USB stick and remove any other USB sticks that you don't want to flash because this will erase all the data on this USB stick. And then you just hit flash and you wait and I'll let you know when that's done. And this is the screen you should get when you're done flashing a USB drive. On to the next step. Now you just go into Windows right here, and you're going to go ahead and in your search bar down here, type in Disk Manage, and it should come up with Create and Format Hard Drive Partitions. Then all you need to do here is go down to your Windows Partition, wherever that is, which should be in your C drive, and you're just going to hit Shrink Volume. You're going to shrink it by an amount you want Ubuntu to be on. So I want 250 gigabytes of my 500 gigabyte drive, so I'm going to go ahead and shrink it by that much. To calculate the total number of megabytes that you're going to need to shrink by, if you want 250 gigabytes free, then you just type multiply 250 by 1024 to get the number of megabytes. So now I just put right here, instead of 465767, I'll erase this and type 256000, which should leave that much space left over. So I'm going to go ahead and hit shrink. And now we have this unallocated space right here, which is what we need. So we're just going to let that be and go to the next step. After you shut down your computer, go ahead and plug in your flashed Ubuntu um, boot drive and then power on your computer and then press F2 about this consistently. I have a Dell computer, so I'll show you how I do that in the Dell BIOS here on my laptop. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to boot sequence 
and I'm going to go ahead and select this and push that partition up so that it is now the primary um, boot partition, or not partition, but in the boot order, I'm setting my UEFI SanDisk partition one, my USB drive, to boot first before Windows does. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit apply. This might be different depending on the BIOS of your computer. Okay, and then I'm going to exit and reboot the computer. All right, the computer has now booted into my flash drive, so it's gonna boot into Ubuntu right now. All right, so now that we're at this screen, we're gonna hit install Ubuntu. Then English is gonna be the language I'm using, so continue. Uh, I don't want to connect to a Wi-Fi network right now. Yep, continue. Normal installation. Other options is all third-party software. Formats, no, just normal installation will be fine. All right, and as you can see, it says install Ubuntu alongside Windows Boot Manager. So what that'll do, as you can see there, it says that all the personal files can be kept and you can choose which operating system this boots into each time. So with that selected, I'm gonna hit install now. Do I change to the disks? Yes. Continue. I'm gonna select my region, which is right around there. And I'm gonna enter some personal information here. And then you let it just do its thing. So after everything's finished installing, it's gonna ask you to remove the installation medium, which is your USB stick. So just do that and hit enter, and you should be good to go. Once your computer restarts, you'll be greeted with this menu. If you wanna to go to Windows, you can just use your arrow keys down here to navigate to this menu, which is called Grub. And as you can see, if we go to Windows Boot Manager, it will load us into Windows. Let's go ahead and restart the computer. comes up it's by default going to load us into Ubuntu if we do nothing so let's go ahead and go into Ubuntu and as you can see we can get into Ubuntu and Windows on the same drive on the same system and it's working perfectly fine Ta -da! Ubuntu. all right so now your computer should be all set up so that it can dual boot into either Linux or Windows, which means that if you're having a problem on Linux when you're doing the Linux challenge or something like I'm going to be doing, and you need to get something done but can't do it on Linux because you're frustrated with how you have to set it up, then you can go back to Windows if necessary. Granted, the point of the challenge is to not go back to your main system, but if you're someone like me who doesn't have a ton of different computers, then you might need to go ahead and go back to Windows to complete something for your job or something like that if you really need to, which is important. Now, I'm going to be trying to use Linux to do most of the things that I like to do, like browse the web, using my emails, um, playing games. I'm going to do my best to try that. Um, and if you catch the next video I have here, then you'll see me going through setting up Ubuntu and everything else as a part of the Linux challenge. So look forward to that because I do encounter issues and it's interesting to figure out what the solutions to those issues are. So thank you very much for watching. Please give a like and remember to subscribe if you enjoy the videos. That always helps me out. And I will see you guys next time. Peace.